Hi guys, Everyday Knife Guy here with another simple paracord tutorial. Uh, today I'm going to show you a simple trick to make managing a, a bit lighter a little bit easier in your pack or in your uh, bug out bag or wherever and also to carry a little bit of paracord with you in a functional kind of way. So if you're not a habitual smoker you uh, probably don't have one of these kicking around the bottom of your pocket. It's more likely in your backpack or your bug out bag or uh, somewhere like that, uh, maybe in your jacket pocket. And these things are they are great. This is a mini bic, the small version, so they're a great little thing to have kicking around. Uh, but they do tend to get lost in large pockets and uh, rattle around. So it's nice a way to tether them and uh, know exactly where it is. So basically we're just going to put a simple paracord wrap on this with a little lanyard loop. So you can clip this onto a gear organizer or into your max position bag or uh, anything like that just to keep it organized and so you know where you have your, have your lighter all the time. So... Uh, the first thing you're going to need is approximately 4 feet of uh, 550 paracord ungutted. Uh, this is OD green. So just take your cord and the first thing you're going to do is just a simple overhand knot. Pull that nice and even until it's cinched pretty much all the way down. Alright, and then take your lighter, pop that through there, and just continue pulling that knot tight. Hopefully the camera will focus here. There we go. Pull that tight and uh, just cinch that up so it's just sitting just under where the uh, fuel pedal is there. You'll see, this doesn't actually impede the, the use of the pedal so don't worry if it's sitting just right there. So you just get that nice and tight and then flip it over. So now we're just going to create a weave down here. So take either side, I'm going to start with the right hand side. So take the right hand strand and bring that across the front of the lighter. And then you're just going to take your left hand strand over the top of that and behind and bring that across behind the lighter and then up through this side okay and I'll show you that stitch a few times, it's basically just a simple uh, simple simple stitch, I'm trying to get this to focus here for you and then just pull that nice and tight you can really forward to cinch that up and then move it into place with your fingers so we're just going to do the opposite and just do that a couple of times so you get the hang of it so we're now going to go from the left side this time, bring the left hand strand across the front, right hand strand over the top of that and then across behind the lighter and up through that loop. I can get a hold of it there. And then just pull it really tight again. So as you create your weave you should see, if we can do this properly, you should see uh, basically bump on this side, bump on this side and those should alternate as we work our way down the lighter. So we go from the right again, across the front, left cord over the top of that, behind the lighter, and up through this side. Pull that tight. Okay. I'm going to pause this till I work down to the bottom and then we'll see how we create the loop. Okay, so as you can see I have stitched all the way down to the bottom. And we have a nice row of the even bumps down each side, which means we've done the weave properly. And you basically end up with two tails, which should be roughly the same length. Now, there's a few ways we can turn these into a loop. Uh, one way would be to take this side round the back and actually feed it through this loop alongside this one. So you'd have two strands coming out here, and then you could just tie some knot between the two strands. That would work. Uh, you could do the same on this side. You'd come around here. This camera's having trouble focusing today, sorry. Bring this strand across the front here, through there, and again you'd have two strands coming out here which you could just tie a loop in. Uh, both of those work, uh, they're basically the same thing. Both of those work except that if you do that it tends to allow the weave to loosen. So I think usually the, the easiest way is to select your short and your long side. So in this case this one is slightly longer. So I would take this side here, and I'm just going to snip this off. Oops. And leave yourself a little bit of excess there. Hopefully you can see that. Leave yourself a little bit of extra paracord. And we're just going to melt and singe that down to seal this side off. Obviously you don't get the uh, don't go get too carried away with the melting and so on because you are holding a naked flame next to a little canister of lighter fuel, but um, you know, use common sense, you'll be fine. Alright, so That'll focus there. We should be able to see that side is now sealed, so that's not going to pull out. So we only have this side left, so make sure that's nice and tight. 
and then you can basically uh, do whatever knot you want to create a loop in this side. I'm just going to do a simple overhand knot for, for sake of this tutorial. Um, if you want to leave yourself a bit of extra paracord, you can do something a bit fancier. But I think this will do for now. So I'm going to pull this through. And that should be sufficiently large. So again, we're just going to snip off the excess there. Lighter and singe this end. Just make sure you singe it until it starts bubbling up because that's when you're going to have enough of the actual melted um, paracord material to actually form and seal that knot there. So there we have just the basic knot in there. We have a little loop we can put a carabiner on or we can hook on to a, like a bag clip or something like that uh, anywhere that's going to be useful for you. Uh, you can even attach it onto another line or lanyard or whatever you want. And uh, there you have it. So you have your wrap lighter and uh, we have attaching it. And as you can see the, uh, the paracord being up there underneath the mechanism uh, doesn't affect the lighting ability at all. And uh, yeah, that was four foot of cord for a mini bic. I would say you'd probably need about six to seven feet uh, to do a full size bic, especially if you want to leave yourself enough room to do this. So uh, there you have it, guys. Hopefully, this is helpful, and I will see you in the next tutorial. Thanks for watching.